A very good morning to you from here at Donegal Square in Belfast. Today we are headed to Glasgow. Now if I tell you that we're getting a coach to Glasgow, you might think that sounds like a terrible idea, but the reality couldn't be more different. I hope. Firstly, I'm doing this journey today with Hannon Coaches and it's a through service. So that means that I'll step aboard the coach here in the centre of Belfast and I'll leave the same coach in the centre of Glasgow. So that's right, the coach actually comes on the ferry with us. So it should be a super relaxed day and we'll have the chance to stretch our legs on the ferry and enjoy that Irish Sea crossing. Secondly, you can carry a couple of big suitcases with you on the coach or even a bike. Now try doing that in a flight without the price increasing dramatically. As for me, I've just got my backpack, but you know I just do these things for fun. Oh and finally the nuts and bolts of this journey, well it's £39 each way, that's just a flat fare. We depart here at 10.30 in the morning and we arrive into Glasgow's Buchanan Street bus station at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's not the fastest journey in the world, but all things considered, it may well be the way to go for you. I'm a bit early for the coach, of course I am, I'm always too early, so let's go and have a look at City Hall. So if, like me, you're too early for the coach, pop in here and have a look. It's free, it's right across the road. In fact, we can just call this the Hannon Coach's waiting room. Your departure point's going to be here at Donegal Square West, right next to City Hall. Now there's not like a set stance or anything, the driver will just park wherever he can get a space, but it will be on this side, next to the tour buses. There's my coach! Hmm, I followed my coach for a wee while, but I'm not sure where I get on board. It looks like he couldn't get a place, it's so busy here at the moment. I think there must be a cruise ship in, at least one. Beautiful, thanks. As I settled into my seat right at the front of the coach, it was time for the short drive to the Stena Ferry Terminal, and this only takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Some people got on board right at the terminal, but for me it made a lot more sense to start my journey in the heart of Belfast. The coach is comfortable, it's clean, and that includes the windows thankfully, and legroom is pretty decent, even up front. Arriving at the ferry terminal, I do miss out a wee stage and that's going through security where they're very on the ball about making sure nobody is filming. This doesn't take too long though and you've not missed anything exciting, I promise. I tell you what, driving a big coach onto a ferry is some sight and it takes a lot of skill from a driver. I can't imagine the carnage if I tried to do this. Thanks. 
where we are on the ferry that wasn't too bad there was a few security checks and stuff like that they had to randomly check five bags but we got here in about 15 minutes another 15 minutes to get on the ferry and that's us oh and we're on deck five can't forget that <laughs> Hey, for once I come to the sun deck and it is actually sunny, this has never happened before. So for the ferry segment of this trip, we are of course on the Stena, the super fast. Now I'm not going to bore you with a review of the ferry because I've done that before when I was comparing Stena and P&O. And I'm so glad it's Stena today, I wasn't wanting to travel P&O, not after what they did to their staff. We're a wee bit delayed going out of Belfast because we had to wait ironically for another Stena to pass because we need to do this big sweeping turn before we pull out of port. The food's alright on board, it's a wee bit expensive, but don't make the mistake I made. Probably try and get some supplies before you get on the bus, because remember between half past ten and four o'clock, this is the only chance you've got to get food on board the Stena. The ferry to Cairn Ryan takes just over two hours and although there's plenty to do on the Stena, my choice is always to be outside on deck watching the other traffic on this busy shipping lane, especially on a day like today. We got a final wee look up towards Ailsa Craig before a right turn into Loch Ryan and the ferry port. I couldn't film much of this to be honest as it was time to try and find Deck 5 again. After a nice wee sail and that's us in Scotland and it's time to get back on board the bus. So cue the music and the credits but be sure to stay tuned till the end for my final thoughts from Glasgow. I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate don't turn off the light, I'm coming home Like you be 
beside me No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home As it seems in the photo Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or roam Could change my mind Could slow my coming So welcome to Glasgow, what did you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. For me it was super relaxed, I really enjoyed it. And I'm not going to lie, I did fall asleep at one point. And it just didn't feel like five and a half hours. I think the fact that it's split into three, like coach, ferry, coach, it seemed to go really quickly. And it's so much better than all the faff that's associated with flying. So that is definitely something I would do again. But for now, I've just got to figure out a way to get home to Montrose. So thanks for watching folks, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.